1908 event over Siberia, the Tunguska. And that was an object that has produced what is now known as the Torrid meteor streams, which is a family of these meteor streams that is still out there. There's several known comets within that stream. There are several known asteroids. Now, the Tunguska object was on the lower end of the spectrum, right? So it was not able to penetrate the full depth of the atmosphere, and it exploded about five miles up. So you have to picture as that thing's entering the atmosphere, what it's doing, it's moving so fast that the atmosphere doesn't have time really to move out of the way, and it compresses the atmosphere. And literally, the atmosphere becomes almost like a brick wall at some point. Very much like, you know, the atmosphere is a fluid. Now, have you ever done a belly flop? If you do a belly flop, you know that even though it's water, it can still provide a, a tremendous amount of forceful resistance, mm -hmm. right? That's what the atmosphere does.